Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, since, you know, after today, Thanksgiving is going to be in a week, and then after that, everybody starts to think about Christmas, or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, I should say. You know, because they have to also count that sort of stuff there. You know what I mean? When it comes to, like, you know, the presents and all of that. I don't really know what I want to get for print for Christmas. You know what I mean? But you know, last year it was that one uh, digital picture frame that I have on my dresser. As far as that goes, and I keep forgetting to upload more pictures to the the picture frame. There, yeah. and especially like the last couple pictures that I had took of Garfi before he passed away and all of that, you know. You know what I mean? But it's, in some ways, it's hard to think that you know that I used to have those boys and now they're over in the litter box in the sky, especially when it comes to Garfield. But I know about Simon there. You know, I just assume that sort of thing with Simon at some point, you know. So, as I kind of said before about it, that it's probably going to be a while before we get, like, a new kitty, for that matter. But, you know, but considering all that, I don't know. If you wanted to have kittens again, or just have a cat that's, a, that's almost an adult, you know, but not quite yet. You know, if they're about a year or two old at that point there. But the bigger problem when it comes to that is how uh, overzealous the breeders would be. And that was one of the things that happened about 15 years ago. At that point, we were looking to get new kitty cats. And after Tom too had passed away, you know, and at one point was like the the breeder wanted to meet my dad and my brother as far as that goes, and we just decided, you know, what, screw that sort of thing. It's just. It's just silly how some of these people could be overzealous of that sort of stuff, like, as if we're trying to adopt a kid or something like that. You know, it's just a cat, but then, yeah, that was just one of those stories there. You know what I mean? And it was kind of like the, the other problem there was, you know, although... Mom had wanted to get, like, the cats declawed and all that, but, but, um, we ended up deciding, you know, not to do that in, in the end because it would better our chances, you know, as far as that goes. But the, the whole story was, um... One of the animal shelters, I think it was over in Irvine, were a little bit more uh, zealous about that sort of thing. And, you know, especially one of the people that worked at the animal shelter there was zealous about that. You know, and so we decided, you know, we're not going to even, you know, do that if it was not allowed. You know, but the... The other animal shelter that was near um, the college that, you know, was a bit more lenient about it because now it's like they would do the whole thing with, through lasers and instead where it's more painless, you know. But as far as that goes, I think now it's like we just don't really declaw cats anymore because you know certain people just see it as inhumane 
And plus, it was just that, um, it was something like, it puts them off balance, as far as it goes, not having, like, the front claws. But, um, back then, you know, when we had, uh, Bob and Tom, they were kind of declawed as far as with the front claws, but not the, not the hind claws, because they need that for... For uh, defending themselves there, you know. But in a way, it's gonna be like I mean that was okay. That would be like thirty four years, not like thirty five, because I keep getting the years mixed up. So it was it was Christmas of eighty eight when. Uh, we found Tom there. And I keep mentioning this sort of story periodically. And the whole story goes was one of my brothers was practicing a skateboard in the backyard. And then I think he noticed something and, and heard some yowling. And then we found Tom there and he was... Probably at least two, I mean, three or four months because he was already losing his baby teeth when he got him, you know. And he was like one of those little kittens there. And, um, I remember when it came to that one, uh, skit on Saturday Night Live, you know, back then was like, to insist the cat, you know, and I always say that that Tom kind of looked like Toonsis in a way, and usually they would have like a puppet there to when it came to Toonsis, and then other times they would show the real cat there, yeah. So, that was, like, one of the things there. If I remember correctly when it came to Twinsis the Cat, you know. So, that was, like, one of the things that I can also mention there. And, I'm trying to remember, there was, like, one of those other pictures of Bob and Tom... That I took it down, and there was one where it was in the bedroom behind me, and where I managed to get them to stay still to, to take a picture of them. And there was one that I took of uh, Tom, where he was uh, hiding in uh, my brother's closet, and he had that like, "Do you mind?" look, you know, as far as that goes. Yeah. And then let's see. When it came to Bob, I think I had a, a picture of him where he was looking up at me from uh, behind the couch. And then there's one where it was Bob and Tom together sleeping under the Christmas tree. And then there was one where they were both, uh, uh, both of them separately under the Christmas tree. Yeah. Because that was one of the things they liked to do was sit under the Christmas tree. And I think we had to make sure when it came to the Christmas tree as far as like the skirt, the skirting there to that. Bob doesn't pee on it because it happened like once or twice where Bob had peed on the Christmas tree, you know. And I think the only problem was at the time because we did uh, real Christmas trees and there were instances where the trees were a bit too big and so it wouldn't fit. I mean, it fit through the door, but just the last couple of inches hit the ceiling, 
and so it wouldn't work, you know. But then one of the other problems, of course, was just um, having to deal with the pine needles, you know. So that was one of the things there. And I don't know if we still have that artificial tree. Yeah. But that was about 20 years ago when I had that artificial tree. And then I think we stopped using it because one of the legs that has like a little tab that's that goes through the connector broke off. And so we couldn't use all four of the legs. I don't know what I mean. But I think, you know, we could have bought one of those artificial trees there, but but we don't really do that often anymore because nobody really comes over. Yeah. So that was just one of the bigger things there. So anyways, um I guess that's Probably it. So, talk to you guys later.